My name is Seth Stovall. I live in my van and I moved to Cookville, Tennessee to train full time in CrossFit. I'm a thousand miles from happiness Thousand miles from you I moved from Temecula, California to Cookville, Tennessee after I graduated high school, I just immediately moved out here. Obviously, Cookville is the home of Rich Froning, four-time CrossFit Games champion, and Cookville alone has produced a lot of elite athletes. I knew for myself, being around all these athletes would make me improve as an athlete, both physically and mentally. I got into CrossFit about five-ish years ago. I saw it just on TV one day. I was watching everyone cross the finish line and they were all dying. And I was like, I wanna do that. <laughs> I was like, I wanna be in that much pain. I don't know why, but I was attracted to it. And I've always played sports growing up, so I figured I should give it a shot. Typical day, wake up, eat, train, go back, eat train, eat, sleep, repeat. Going into training every day, my mentality is 100% focused on one training session at a time, not focused on what I'm gonna do later. It's what I'm doing right here, right now, and what I can do to get better and work on whatever my weakness is to try to improve for the next day. When I go to the gym, it's just the whiteboard, the marker, and go. Van, so it's a 1988 Chevy G30. Basically when I got it, I didn't know if it fully ran well. I just told the dude, I'm trusting you. And I drove it from San Francisco back to my hometown, which is about seven hours, and it ran just fine. So started building it out, putting little things in here and there. It slowly started coming together. I made a lot of mistakes, but learned from it. And it's been a huge project for sure. When I told my parents I was going to leave for Cookville, they believed it, and they fully supported me. The hardest part about leaving was definitely leaving my family, but about an hour into the drive, I was like, all right, let's go. Living in the van sucks. I don't like it, but it's cut out all the expenses that would have kept me from moving to Cookville. I don't have to pay rent, and I don't really have a huge source of income, so living in the van is cheap. On social media, van life is the most luxurious thing, and it definitely has its perks, and it's great when you're traveling maybe with someone else, and it's fun to be with them. But when you're flying solo, and you're by yourself, and it's just you in a van, most of the time, it sucks. 
but I love it at the same time. It has been such a learning experience living in here. And believe it or not, I wouldn't change it for the world with where I'm at right now. A lot of people can say that they're really proud of what they've done, but in my mind, I haven't done anything yet. I haven't seen the results that I've wanted, and I don't want to look back on myself and have any regrets at all in my life. I want to be able to look back and have that satisfaction feeling of knowing that I did everything possible to put forth the best results that I could in the sport. You know, everyone's ultimate goal is obviously the CrossFit Games, but I'm still in the beginning phases of my CrossFit career. For now, I'm gonna just keep training, continue to train every single day, day in, day out. I guess we'll see where that takes me.